the JAMA Network. My name is Carlos Grijalva. I am an Associate Professor of Health Policy at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Every year, influenza causes more than 200,000 hospitalizations in the United States alone. The most effective strategy to prevent influenza infections is vaccination. Several studies have previously shown that influenza vaccines can prevent acute respiratory illnesses due to influenza. However, whether influenza vaccines can prevent serious complications of influenza infections, such as pneumonia, remains unclear. We designed this study to determine whether influenza vaccines could reduce the risk of hospitalizations for influenza and pneumonia. This was a multi-center collaboration between academic institutions and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Our study used data from the etiology of pneumonia in the community, or the EPIC study. EPIC was a prospective study that identified patients hospitalized with pneumonia and attempted to determine the etiology of these infections. EPIC enrolled patients at, at four different sites in the country and tested them for different potential causes of the disease. And among patients hospitalized with pneumonia, we identified those patients that were admitted to the hospital with influenza pneumonia, and those were our cases. And we also identified patients that were admitted with other pneumonias that were not caused by influenza, and those were our controls. All the patients had a comprehensive assessment of, of potential infection with influenza, and also a detailed and verified measurement of previous vaccination with influenza vaccines. For this study, we included more than 2,700 patients that were hospitalized with pneumonia. Approximately 6% of those patients had pneumonias that were caused by influenza, so those were our cases. Our analysis revealed that vaccination with influenza vaccines was associated with a substantial reduction in the risk of hospitalization with influenza pneumonia. The estimated vaccine effectiveness was 57%. And that means that approximately 57% of hospitalizations for influenza pneumonia could be prevented through vaccination. The benefit of the vaccine extended to both children and adults. We also observed that the benefit of the vaccines seemed to be a little lower for some subgroups, especially older adults and some patients who had immunosuppressive conditions, such as malignancies or HIV infection. So additional studies are going to be needed to identify optimal strategies to protect these groups.